So, in this video, I'm going to show you how to log into your Virgin Router and change port forwarding. So, the first thing we need to do is open um, any browser that you're using, and you want to go to the address bar and type 192.168.0.1. And then you will come into the login screen. Yours will be different. It'll be asking you for a settings password. And to find your settings password, you need to turn your router on its side. And you'll see it here. There's a beautiful picture of it. And don't worry, you can put your router on its side while it's connect while the wires are connected. It won't um, your internet won't go off. Um, my advice is take a picture with your mobile phone. And then you can bring it over and type it in and then delete the picture. So once you've got all that sorted and you're logged in, click next, give it a moment and it should pop on any minute now. Right then, so to change the f to forward a part, you need to go to the advanced settings on the left and then you need to go to security. And you need to go down to Port Forwarding. I think I've already got some preset ones in here, so I'll find out as it loads up. Yep, I've got a preset one here. Right, so your internal network has its own um, IP addresses. For instance, the router itself was 192.168.0.1, which you just typed in. So the machine that you need to forward the parts, oh, you need to find what IP address it's been using. It could be one, two, three, four, it could be 10. Um, so you will need to go to the connected devices page to find out um, the IP address, I think. Yep, let's, let's click on it now and find out for you. Right, so as you can see, um, let's say my computer needs um part 21 forward into it so as you can see my computer is 192.168.0.2 and the server is free just ignore this on the end it's just this number you want right so let's go back to advanced settings security port forwarding right so wait for two minutes for that Right, as you can see that my computer's already in, and I've um, added this rule. So let's create a new rule. So let's say I run an FTP server on my computer, the file transfer protocol server. Then I obviously want to change this to two, and the local start port for this is 21, and the end port, just put 21. If it's um, a game server you're running, sometimes it'll say 21 to port 26 or 2000, and one to two thousand and or twenty one thousand and one to the end port so make sure you put the end port in but we're just using the port twenty one um external start port yeah you just leave that zero leave that zero protocol so normally this does it over tcp i think we'll use both because it's file transport and you want to enable on then click add rule um, it's invalid. Point. Yeah, change this to 21. Let's try in. There we go. I'll change that to 21 as well. And we'll add the rule. And it should load in any second. And there you have it. Part 21 to 21. Both protocols enabled. And that's how you uh, part forward um, set up part forwarding on your Virgin router. Obviously, you need to tick this box to enable it. And when you're finished with it, but you want to leave it in there, just untick the box and click apply. So I hope that's helped you out. If you've got any problems or anything, um, just leave a question in the comments. Or post a question in the comments. And uh, don't forget to like and sub. See you later. Bye-bye.